Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day it's Tom. Today's episode name is The Greatest Mysteries of Japan. Yanaguni Japanese Atlantis I'm not a doctorate in geologist or archaeologist, and I'm just an amateur and curious person who loves history and science. I did my best to clarify all the questions about the Yanaguni Memorial based on what I saw on the dive records, heard from the scientists, and read from verified sources. One of the biggest secrets in Japan is the origin of stone structures lying underwater off the island of Yanaguni, near the southern tip of the Japanese archipelago of Ryukyu, about 120 kilometers from the east coast of Taiwan. A local diver first noticed a Yanaguni formation in 1986, and locals call it the point of ruins. Japanese marine geologist, biologist, and seismologist Masaki Kimura of the University of Ryukyus in Japan, who has been diving on site to measure and map formations for more than 15 years, has identified 10 buildings at Yanaguni and five other related structures off the main island of Okinawa. The buildings include the largest building, which looks like a complicated, monolithic stepped pyramid rising from a depth of 25 meters, other buildings include a castle ruin, a triumphal arch, five temples and at least one large stadium, all connected by roads and waterways, they are partially overshadowed by what could be huge walls. In total, the ruins cover an area measuring 300 meters by 150 meters. A triangular spa, two holes for pillars, a structure similar to the inscription on the platform, the entrance gate of the castle, moats, stairs, a tortoise-shaped relief rock, terraces and a rock inscription, which probably belong to the ancient Kaida script, were also found. These traces of the marks clearly show that people worked the stone. In many places, there are holes created by wedge tools. According to Kimura, the ruins date back to at least from 5,000 years to 10,000 years, based on data from stalactites found in underwater caves that sank with the city. Submerged stone structures lying just below the waters off Yanaguni and could be the remains of the ruins of a city, Japanese Atlantis, an ancient city sunk by an earthquake. But like other stories about sunken cities, Kimura's claims have provoked controversy in official circles. Opponent of this theory is Robert Schoch, a professor of science and mathematics at Boston University who dived on the spot. He stated the quote, I am not convinced that some of the main features or structures are man-made stairs or terraces, but that they are 95% natural end of quote. Neither the Japanese government's agency for cultural affairs nor the government of Okinawa prefecture recognizes the remains at Yanaguni as not important cultural goods, said agency spokesman Amiko Ishida. However, there is a recurring strange thing from the government and official scientists. Because none of the government groups carried out research or conservation work in these localities. However, some experts believe that the structures could be all that is left of the continent of Mu, a legendary Pacific civilization that is said to have disappeared under the waves during one of the huge seismic events known to this part of the Pacific. Toru Uchi, associate professor of seismology at Kobe University, supports Kimura's hypothesis. Uchi said this quote, I have never seen tectonic activity that would have such an effect on the landscape above or below the water. I also dived there and touched the pyramid. What Professor Kimura says is not exaggerated. It is easy to see that these monuments were not caused by an earthquake. By the way, a mysterious colossal head was found in the jungle of Yanaguni in Japan. It even has a round symbol on top of it and stands on a separate pedestal. There is evidence of a very ancient human dwelling on the island, including tombs and other structures artificially carved out of the subsoil, as you can see in the photo. 
Some believe they mimic and are stylistically inspired by the island's natural features, including stepped structures, as well as the features of the building now submerged in the ocean. The approximate date of the sinking of this structure is also interesting because it is very similar to the time of the sinking of Atlantis. So what do you say, is it an artificial structure or a natural formation carved by the sea? Is it a geological miracle or evidence for the existence of the lost continent of Mu, Atlantis and the Pacific? So who built this huge complex? Denied, giants, an alien race, or perhaps an advanced civilization washed away by a great flood? Write your opinion in the comment, I will be happy to read it. Devil's Sea, Dragon Triangle There are many mysterious places on land and in water all over the world that are logically difficult to explain. These are especially places where planes and ships are lost without a trace or only the crews of ships disappear for no apparent reason. The most famous is, of course, the Bermuda Triangle, which I recently made a video about, but there is a whole list of similar lesser known places on the planet, but just as mysterious. The Devil's Sea, also known as the Dragon Triangle, is one of the sailors' nightmares. The area, located near the Japanese coast south of Tokyo in the Pacific Ocean, is one of 12 so-called vile vortices in the world. These vortices are areas where the traction of the planet's electromagnetic waves is stronger than anywhere else. The Dragon Triangle is one of them and is located in the area between Guam, the Philippines and the south coast of Japan. The indigenous Japanese call the area the Devil's Sea, and history tells the story of how local fishermen avoided the area at all costs. The name comes from an ancient Chinese story about sea dragons rising from the depths to devour sailors and their vessels. This story is more than three centuries old, and many theorists have tried to use it as a starting point in their research looking at weather or underwater geological events to explain how this happened. The fact that the area is full of submarine volcanoes adds direction to how the story could have started. The rapid release of gases and lava, even from immense depths below the surface, would have a devastating effect on the ocean surface near the eruption. This area is also called the Pacific Bermuda Triangle and is exactly opposite the Bermuda Triangle. The Dragon Triangle has been known for hundreds of years and the last few decades have often been reported with paranormal phenomena and unexplained cases of aircraft and ships disappearing. The waters of the Triangle are famous for letting even the strongest vessels disappear with the crew on board. It is well documented that nine ships were lost in perfect weather. Interesting, for example, is Aurang Mead and Ghost Ship and its chilling secret, about which I will soon release video. In 1989, Charles Berlitz published the book Dragon Triangle, in which he attempted a thorough exploration of the area and its history. He managed to identify at least five military vessels that disappeared in the area between 1952 and 1954. In the 1940s and 1950s, a number of fishing vessels disappeared into the sea between Miyuk Island and Iwo Jima. As a result, in 1952, Japan even sent a special research ship called Kayo Maru No. 5 to find the missing ships. Kayo Maru with 31 crew members on board, however, also encountered the fate of previous vessels and disappeared. The wreck of Kayo Maru No. 5 was found later, but the members of the crew, were never heard again. Following the incident, the Japanese government allegedly declared the area dangerous for shipping and freight. Several efforts have also been made to understand the truth behind the so-called paranormal phenomenon in the area. Of course, scientists like Ivan Sanderson are trying to solve the mystery. He suggested that the hot and cold currents that pass through this vile vortice lead to the disappearance of vessels in the Devil's Sea. According to him, these currents cause electromagnetic disturbances, which then capture the ships around. Another hypothesis suggested that eruptions of submarine volcanoes are behind the disappearance of vessels in the area. Further scientific research claimed 
that the anomalies believed to occur in the triangle were the result of a natural phenomenon and that methane hydrates released from the seabed were behind the destruction of the vessels. New reports of paranormal activities are constantly emerging, including the observation of ghost ships in the triangle. There is also a theory of a submerged alien base deep in the sea, proof of Google Earth images. You can find the coordinates in the description below the video. Others point to the fact that the triangles of Dragon and Bermuda are almost exactly opposite on the planet and state this is very important. The only other place where the opposites are located are the North and South Poles. Another anomaly is reported to be abnormally high magnetic activity as the cause of the failure of navigation equipment and communication. There is also an ever-changing landscape with land and islands that are literally forming and disappearing overnight. Despite the scientific evidence and legends surrounding the ocean, it is clear that certain phenomena in the world are far beyond the control and understanding of human beings. Japanese Tomb on Mars Alien hunters claim to have found a Martian structure that is the same shape as ancient Japanese tombs. When you look at the tombs of the Coffin period in Japan, and compare them with the object on Mars, then you can clearly see the same rampart in the shape of a keyhole or exclamation mark. Some people claim that this is evidence that aliens contributed to the development of ancient Japanese civilization. This new discovery suggests that since the structure in Japan was a burial ground for the elite, the structure on Mars was also the tomb of an alien ruler. The sides of the structure on Mars also have straight edges that lead down to a large circular formation at its base. The coordinates for both the Google Earth and Google Mars structures can be found below in the video description. Although some believe that identical structures may be clear evidence that aliens lived among us, NASA has made a statement to clarify that this is not the case, claiming that it is just a hill. There are other interesting structures on the Red Planet, and the most famous is the so-called face on Mars. NASA again stated that it was created only by accidental movement of sand dunes. What is strange about the shape of the coffin tomb on Mars is that the massive structure appears in a very isolated, flat, empty plain and nothing like it is found around. Alien hunters firmly believe that the geometric structure found in Google Mars is too similar to be considered a random formation of natural processes. And this conviction is also reiterated in this year's US government statement, which admitted to the public that they have been observing UFOs since the Second World War. But let's talk more about these mysterious tombs. From the 3rd century in Japan, people of royal descent were placed in ancient imperial tombs known as coffin, or old mounds. These burials were reserved for Japanese emperors, empresses and other important members of the empire, and were built between three centuries and six centuries. For example, Desenryo Coffin is a tomb built sometime between the 4th and 5th centuries, and is located in the city of Sakai in Japan. It is one of the largest tombs in the world next to the mausoleum of China's first emperor in China and the Great Pyramid of Pharaoh Khufu in Egypt. Desenryo Coffin covers an incredible 305 meters in width and 457 meters in length. The green soil surrounding the main tomb was paved with stone. This means that the entire inner dam was probably fully paved, which would involve the use of about 50 million stones. Kazuo Ichinus, a professor of archaeology at Kyoto University, said, if there were also stone paving on the dikes, the time and effort involved in collecting the stones and transporting them must have been enormous. The NASA image shows a keyhole-shaped tomb among other burial grounds, collectively known as Mozufiruchi Coffin. So far 40 coffins from the period between the 3rd and 6th centuries have been found, when Japanese society was centralized under the influence of China. The mounds have various shapes, including keyholes, circles, and squares. They have terraced ramparts and are surrounded by ditches. They also contain a wide range of grave goods, including weapons, ornaments, and armor. This discovery was the result of a natural element when in 1872, a severe storm damaged the place and revealed from inside a treasure of valuables, helmets, glass bowls and clay figurines known as Haniwa. However, 
the Kafini were declared sacred religious sites, and any further archaeological research was prohibited. Even today, no one is allowed to cross the bridge over the second moat. It's really weird, almost suspicious, why the government doesn't want archaeologists to search these sites. It is usually in the interest of the state to learn as much as possible from the history of its people with similar findings. On the other hand, this approach rather leads to questions about why someone would not explicitly want to know the truth of what is hidden here. It reminds me of the ban on excavations under the Egyptian Sphinx. This ban on any archaeological research was issued by the very influential Japanese organization Imperial Household Agency. They stated that the coffins contains the remains of Emperor Nantoku, who was the 16th emperor of Japan and ruled during the 3rd century. Interesting, isn't it? How can they know that Emperor Nantoku specifically lies here if he does not allow the excavation and the tombs have no markings? They probably use a crystal ball which they can clearly see through piles of stones and clay. Apparently, the public will have to wait for new floods to reveal this ancient secret. Thanks for watching this video, and if you like it please remember to give a thumbs up. Leave comment below, I'd love to read from you, and if you're not subscribed click subscribe, and also click the little bell icon, so you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video.